that with you? Aged Chinese gentlemen, witness for misery and woe. Let me that curtain off. Quick. Sending a rope down. I am on it. Quick work, Newton. You have your bright moment. If I didn't, there'd be three of a kind out there. United gentlemen is prepared to ascend all the high. Gentlemen asked to be brought here. Thank you, Mr. Angel. What? We're in here. We're in line with some of us. This is some lovely garment. We come beautiful and worn by lovely ladies. Twenty dollars, please. Only $20? Unfortunately, lovely lady is stony broke. Someday, I'm going to do a Sunday special on why all authors are stingy. Oh, are they? Thank you, sir. What happened, Victor? 
My people blundered. Mr. Lou and Andrews Cook escaped. Escaped? Yes. I'll explain later. You must repair the damage. Come with me. You know, Victor, your inventions fascinate me. I can't imagine what use you intend to make of them all. For instance, you see this lever. It closes the door of a room and automatically stands the wall slowly moving towards each other. I see no practical use for that. No. Suppose I wanted some information and you, uh, being misguided, would refuse to give it to me. If I should put you in that room and throw that lever, <laughs> you know, I think you'd talk. Well, I think the meeting of the Chinese merchants should be already in session. Let's see. We owe a vote of thanks to eminent authors. We of Chinatown are also indebted to our worthy countryman, Mr. Fu. His discovery of this God man is the first long step towards solving the mystery that threatened our lives and fortunes. <laughs> Tom Chu. Just a suitable candidate to fill the place left vacant by Mr. Lowe. And the means are in our hands. Martin Andrews' book, Shadows of Chinatown, describes in detail how it can be done. The first step is a phone message. What about a few bouquets for me? I spotted the place Quiet. Right. Yes? Mr. Tom Chu, please. One moment. For you. Mr. Tom Chu speaks. Yes, Mr. Chu. I have some very important information. My chauffeur will meet you and bring you to my apartment. Miss Lowcross wants me to go to her apartment pleasantly at noon. We hope it will be as important as that. What for our friends here? Gentlemen, doctor, Mr. Tom Chu, it's my business to get news. I think I should go along with Mr. Tom Chu. The readers of my paper have a right to know what it's all about. If Miss Rokoff has any information, I want it. Sorry, I warned you. How'd you go? Can I stay, Dr. Wu? In Chinese condo, wisdom of women is of little value. Words are her lord and master is law. He's not my lord and master. I'm sorry. Wait for us in the car. These gentlemen have a right to conduct the meeting without your interference. That's what you think. What about the freedom of the press? The Constitution says... says that this is a man's world and you're just a poor, weak woman. That's not what the Constitution says. You understand what you have to do? Yes, sir. All right. The rest will be explained. Tom Chu? Yes. I'm Mr. Rokoff's chauffeur. My car is right down the street. Oh. I do. 
Consider the incident come to close. Good day, gentlemen. Thanks again. Thank you. 